Christmas. It's the best time of Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. I am now actually pre-filming these videos quite far ahead. When I'm filming this, it's before Christmas, but when you're seeing this, let me check. Oh, when you're seeing this, it's Boxing Day, so I hope you had a really good Christmas. Please leave a comment letting me know how it was, what you got. But yeah, I hope you had a really good Christmas if you celebrate it. But I'm actually busy right now. <laughs> like, when you're watching this, I'm busy. So that's why I'm pre-filming this so far in advance, so that I still have something to post. But today we're going to be doing more baking. I've done two baking vlogmas episodes now and I'm actually really enjoying it. So I got a brownie making kit, chocolate fudge brownie mix. Apparently you only need an egg, oil and water so this should be really easy for me. As I've said before I hate cooking and baking and everything. I just don't find it fun. I think I just don't have the patience for it but something like this, this seems really easy. On the day I'm filming this my mum and brother are coming around for a games night so I thought this would be nice to make and then they can eat it as well. This does say it serves 16 people. Imagine if I was just making this for me so I'm actually glad that I have people coming around so I can give this to someone. Oh you need butter as well. Why Why did it lie to me? Okay so three simple steps apparently. Stir the brownie mix, water, oil and egg. Oh you can use butter instead of water. This honestly makes makes no sense to me. My brain does not work this way. It says brownie mix water, oil and an egg or brownie mix butter and eggs. I guess I'll do butter and eggs. Might be nicer. I don't know. Let's get started. Oh wow. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> you need 80 grams of melted butter. I'm not melting it. Fine, I'll do it with oil and water. I cannot be bothered to melt butter. Three tablespoons of oil. This whole time I've been baking, I've had no way of measuring anything. Until now, I do actually have these tablespoons. Now we need five tablespoons of water. Okay, it's looking good. And then we just need one egg. I'm getting the hang of this now. No shells again! When I did the other baking video, the first one, the first time I baked with the cookies, I did get eggshells in it. And then the second one I did for the Nutella gingerbread pastries, I didn't get shells in. I'm getting so good. Okay, stir it. Oh, just stir it, that's it. <laughs> I'm not sure how thick this is meant to be, but my arm is aching. Ow, my arm, that's the best I can do. Look at it though, it looks good. Now, spread easily, <laughs> it doesn't say that, spread evenly into the baking tin. Baking tin? Oh, I don't have one of those. I've got baking trays, but it's asking you to use like a tin, you know, like a, like a square box shape. This surely isn't it, like it can't be this easy. Wow, that looks lovely. Am I meant to like squish it out? Like even it out a little bit? Oh no, this is working. I want them to be like crispy on the top and like chewy. Who knows? We can't have everything we want. Well, here's what it looks like before I put it in. And then you just bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. It smells so nice in here. I'm really excited for these. There's still two minutes left on the timer and I might leave them in for longer, but I just want to have a look, okay? Oh, wow. It actually looks so good. It does say to like poke it with a fork to see if it's done. So I'll give it a few more minutes, but it actually looks really good. I just recorded a whole clip and wasn't even filming. I was just talking to no one, but I just just poked a fork in it and the fork came out clean which apparently means they're done but it's not as hard as I want it to be so I'm gonna leave it in unless it hardens when you take it out the oven I'm not sure I've never done this before so I'll just wait a couple more minutes Okay, it's probably done now. Look at it. Look at that. I mean, it's very flat, but it looks great to me. Now I need to cut it. Maybe I should have waited to um, take them off the baking tray because they kind of broke. They're still a bit like soft. I just remembered I need to try one, don't I? Bon appetit. I mean, it's a brownie, you can't complain. It is a little bit bland, and I'm guessing if I used butter, it would have been nicer, but I just could not be bothered to melt the butter, so they are very nice, I'd recommend. 
Hey guys, I forgot to end the video, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and I will see you tomorrow at 5pm for another episode of Vlogmas. Bye guys!